Lowry nearly pulled the rabbit out of the hat in this game for the Miami Heat. His 22 in the fourth quarter ties his career high for any quarter. And <laughs> this was him, right? Yeah. Carrying the Heat. He pulled out not all his tricks because he's got a lot of them, but there's so much up his sleeve. Oh, for sure. Think about this. Bam had 24 at the half. He ended with 30. So Bam hit the wall, the back-to-back -back wall. He was trying to do a little bit of everything. So Kyle Lowry was trying to get other people going. Duncan Robinson wasn't really hitting. Tyler Hero had it going a little bit. And he said, okay, this is my time. I love to see that. Now, this game, it didn't work out. But think about when Jimmy comes back. Think about when they have a fresh team. If you have a guy who can give you 30 or 24 and a half and another guy who can give you 22 and a quarter, when things need to go into crunch time, you have Jimmy, you have Kyle, you have Hero, you have Bam, and Duncan Robinson is going to come through this slump, keep shooting young fella, right? And, and that's, that's great for the Miami Heat for the long run. And in Lowry's case, he can play it any way he needs to. He doesn't just have to score to affect the end that's of the right. game. That's right. They have an amazing team because Butler can receive, he can create. Bam can receive, he can make plays off other people and create. And, and Lowry can do the same thing. He did it. He was kind of dormant there for three quarters, and then he just he turns it on because he has the ability to do it. Um, they have a really good team. But it's funny, the teams that started hot, yeah. a lot of them have cooled. Yeah. The teams that started poorly, you know, you kind of have some introspection. You figure it out. You, you, you study what you're doing wrong. You learn. And those teams are coming back.